Hey YouTube, this is uh, Brian, BeerZol805 again, with a uh, part 2 of my custom ultimate Optimus with a uh, trailer, or uh, whoever else I'm going to, I'm not sure I'm going to title it yet, so. So here he is, I was, uh, when I first got this guy and that guy, uh, I was a little, uh, just, and weary that they used a in between size of uh, Voyager and Leader, and it didn't really fit anywhere. And as I was starting to look at it more, uh, the Ultimate uh, Optimus in car mode, which is amazing by the way, uh, was too small for the trailer. The trailer was just ginormous to it, and I was like looking up at different trucks online and. Most of the time, here, let me do a cool, uh, there. Most of the time, the truck cabs are the same length or uh, width of the, the trailer they're pulling. That means this should have been back here. But for size purposes, I, I understand why they did it. I understand why. So the purpose of going into the mech suit... And, uh, so, uh, yeah, that's really why, and I understand why, but I don't agree with them, because the fans don't want, I mean, as me, as an Optimus fan, it's just, I would have rather had a movie accurate thing like that third party company is doing to a better suit Optimus, and... Yeah, so here's another comparison to, uh, with, uh, Leader, with a, uh, Deluxe, and the trailer. So pretty realistic, and you can see the, uh, the big giant gun right there, and that's more of the base of it, so a car can sit in there, if you want to throw all of the mech stuff inside. So that's how he looks, and these are gone, only because they're still stuck on the the feet and I'm trying to figure out how to take it off without really having to chisel at it and if I could figure out that then I will do an update who knows anyways so here's that let me grab him I haven't done any uh things yet to it, just uh, taking my little kibble that need, doesn't need to be there. So there he is. I plan on making him a... I plan on making him Ultra Magnus. I did see someone else make one, and it was pretty cool. It was non-transformable, which I would have loved to keep it transformable, but right now, I like the freeness of it. But also, I like the... Just, uh, extra suit of armor for Optimus, and I'm not sure, I'm on the sidelines, but here he is, I took this off, so I was planning on putting some screws in right there, so it just stays in, because I like the big, the bigger head, the mask on him, uh, so here he is, I'm going to take him apart little by little, and I'll show you how, what I kept, what I didn't kept. So let's see, we could do these first. They have the same exact weakness as the other one. So it's just a peg in the hole. And I cut off that, so it just stays on. Same here. I can't even do that, but I don't know why I'd want to. So there's that. I uh, took the mask, cut that off so it'll slide on or screw on, and it can still keep the head rotation. Maybe I'll glue it on once I paint it. Who knows? Um, another med tech gun. A couple of these I just go in. Oh, no mind. 
This is a Voyager one, so it just stays in this position the whole time. Uh, this is good. That stays there. The base. That's where it is. There's. These actually just clip right in. And I don't need the whole backside to it, so this just clips right there to add the extra uh, body. Um, that opens up. Foot tabs out. Off camera, sorry. Foot tabs out. And there you go. So I cut it right here. Only because if you look right here. Now if you really wanted to, he could bend a upper knee joint, which is uh looks kind of awkward, but you could also bend it where he's a little uh different. I mean it's a little bit of joint right there. Take that off. There you go. And now you still have Optimus, or uh, pre-Optimus, I guess. Kind of uh, big-armed. Almost, because, in my opinion, I don't know, because there's legs like this and his big arms, he almost looks like he could be a chicken Optimus Prime. But, yeah, so, here he is. And I was thinking even if I, he, I turned him into Ultra Magnus and like a blue and white formation, or coloration, he could still uh, help out Optimus and pull the trailer and maybe hold his, uh, I could put all these back in the trailer and he could hold this when Optimus isn't using it. So, who knows? I also have plans on doing a, uh, a roller. Something cool looking that can maybe hook up here and pull it off too. But, uh, until I know what that one will look like, I won't really try too much of it. So, we've seen the comparison between him and him in truck mode, and like I said before, his truck mode is phenomenal. It's just too small, in my opinion. So, so there you go. Oh, one last thing. There. All right. So this is the quick strike homage to the side swipe repaint. If I could get standing again. Uh, hold on. There you go. See the difference on there. The feet aren't properly transformed see that side swipe this is, it makes him smaller like he usually is uh, his weapon came with you hold him right there looks like he's holding a gun and then this one he holds a sword in the back section I carved out some of the holes so the doors just peg into the back so I'll do another video just to show him off he looks really cool next to a uh, Dinobot. But, uh, yeah. Alright, thanks for watching. Let me get some of the crap out of the way so you can see what we covered. A whole lot of Optimus Prime in my leg. And the cool thing is, uh, last thing. The doors come, can come off. Let's plug them back. Here. This is a way you could stand it up, and then it could be a uh, 